Welcome to a solo Rust adventure. Fresh wipe, 500 player server, and playing alone. And you guys are gonna wanna strap in, because this two chapter adventure is filled with raids, action, and an epic base. My name is Wiljam, and this is my vanilla Rust experience. You guys know the drill by now. I spawned on the beach with nothing but a rock and a torch. Now I had no blueprints, putting me a step behind the rest of the players and groups on the server. But that wouldn't matter, because as you guys know, despite me being a solo, I'm prepared to put in the hours. And today I had an overpowered plan to generate insane amounts of resources to build my base. And so I quickly checked the map, found the location I was looking for, and started my journey. Okay, the industrial stuff has been out for a bit now, and I have not done it yet, but today, I am gonna build the most broken thing that a solo can possibly have. I cannot wait to try it, but this super smelter is insane. Bag down. Got the wood, and there's a bear. Uh oh, oh god, it's coming. Oh, there's a wolf! Motherfucker. Get away. We'll go with the no mercy bow today. Can't say if I've actually crafted that one before. Oops. Let's heal up to 100 on this chair. Why am I not healing? Stu oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Unfortunately, being just 30 minutes late into wipe, the sun was setting on the very first night of the server. And while it was dark, I went to the safety of barn and healed up by the fire, and crafted some things I would need for my journey. And as the sun rose on the next morning, I began farming for my starter base. Okay, there are players everywhere. I don't really know how I'm going to get to where I want to build. What was a... Uh... Deers have just murdered that pig. It's true. What the? Oi! How dare you? Alright, so, I need a metal door, a key lock, a building plan, a hammer. I will go with that skin today. I need a tool cupboard, and another key lock. Oh, these guys are together. Well in. Am I going to be in the Rust video? Oh, my in-game name's well in, lol. <clears throat> yes? Hey, you better back up, buddy, or I'll get my revenge on you. I'll rebuild it in my private server. <laughs> what do you guys think? And after messing around at barn, I had everything I needed to build my base. All that was left was to run the gauntlet through all of the players trying to do something similar. Oh my gosh, there are so many people. What do I do? I'm so gonna die. There's no way I make it where I want to go, is there? Uh, oh, that is a uh, base expanding over there. It's fine, he's building. Oh, there's a guy over there as well. Oh, no. My crap. Oh, that guy's got a cross. Okay. I'm going this way. Yeah, this is, uh, this is tough. I don't know where I'm gonna go. Oh, okay, there's someone farming above me as well. This, this is a joke. Ah, uh, Revies. With players everywhere along the coast and the road, I built my way up to the top of the cliff, thinking I'd be more safe at the top of the mountain. Okay, so there's a little base there, and there's another base there. Maybe somewhere over here, two guys in there. And that was when I found it. Oh! Oh! For me? The perfect spot. A flat location at the very top of the mountain, right at the edge of the cliff, looking over the world below. I knew that this would be my home. Nah, I have a good feeling about this. This spot is beautiful. I got lighthouse, I got fishing village, I can maybe even do rig, cargo, this is, this is good. Oh, already got a visitor. Who this? Hello. Ralvelun, yes. Solo. Let me destroy and get back. 
Oi! Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> He's breaking my back. <laughs> what an animal. No, no, no. Get away. Oi! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh! Get away. My base was down, but I was still vulnerable to flame raids, and with so many players nearby, I had to farm stone quickly and upgrade my base. Wait. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> They're flame raiding the base. No, not me. Not me, please. Bro. Oh my gosh, they've got zombies. <laughs> I gotta upgrade. Okay, okay, we're okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna get Molotov raided. Clearly, I had underestimated the danger I was in. And the players around here were not messing around. This area was gonna be a battle. Right, I should probably get an airlock if those guys are going around raiding people. Ah, they got Sar as well. These guys are crazy. Okay, we'll go for that furnace skin today. Boom. The metal cooking, then I'll be able to get a metal double door, and I can add an airlock. I'm gonna try something a little risky here. I would not recommend you guys doing this, but I think it needs to be done. Uh, you should never remove your only door off your base, but there we go. Now I got a double door on the inside. That is much better. We are chilling. Just gotta wait on that furnace now. Okay, that's a good little bit of farm. How's my furnace doing? I should have enough. No, not yet. I need that to smelt faster. Come on. While waiting for metal to smelt so I could craft another door, I went to go farm some wood. Oh, this is going to be really scuffed getting back into base. Surely I can make that jump. Right? Come on. Come on. Okay, maybe I can just... For now I can just do that. That that works. It's not perfect. I should probably get ladders at some point. Okay, we got some wood. Am I ready? Almost enough. 20 more frags. Get the campfire down. Get our lantern too. Beautiful. Oh yeah. And there we go, we got the frags. Oh, that feels good. And now with an airlock finally down, I felt comfortable enough to roam a little bit further from my base. My first aim was to explore the lighthouse. Eventually I wanted to get my hands on a boat and farm the water for scrap and components. But for now, I was just hungry for some PvP. Oh. This guy might have some uh, scrap on him. Oh, there we go. This guy over there as well. Not bad. Ooh, this guy's building a boat base, I think. Yeah. That's annoying that they live right next to the lighthouse. I might come up with building mats. Oh, here he comes. I'll let him get a little bit further. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. Yeah, he did have the building mats, so I was right. I bet he's gonna come back, though. Ooh, green card. Gimme. And while about to recycle at Lighthouse, I heard a boat approach. Oh, these guys are going to be loaded 100% if they're coming to Lighthouse on a boat. I have to kill them. Wait, who are they fighting now? Oh no, there's another group. Actually, this might work for me. I'll let them kill each other. Yep, okay, that's one guy dead. Okay, those two guys won. Oh, 
Oh, this one guy did. Okay, one more guy. And I guarantee they are loaded. I have to get those bodies. Ah, uh, these guys are on the shore too. Oh, I hit him. So I had killed the hazmat with the crossbow, and there was one player left below holding the body. The lighthouse was also being pushed by three nakeds. I had to move quickly. Oh. Right, I'm gonna check that I'm recycler to make some space. There it is. No, I miss. Ah, I'm fumbling. I'm fumbling. Maybe I can push the body now, actually. No way, there are two people pushing. This is bad timing. Wait, what the fuck? Or that guy just uh, slid. Oh no. They're on the bodies. There we go, that's one dead. One more grub. Damn it, I need to heal. The other crossy's gonna come kill me. Oh, he's on the bodies, no. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I can't hit him. Oh. oh, what a bitch, he's running away! No, he got the loot from the hazmat. Oh, damn it, man. That's not okay. Still, this guy can kill, though, and he probably has loot. Oh, what? I don't know how that hit me. Oh, this just fell off, though. Is that guy dead? I shot him. No! Come on, I need to kill this guy. It's another hit. Oh yeah, he's dead. Right, fuck it. I'm going for the body. I need to get up. Oh, I knew he'd have a loot. Oh. Oh, there are so many. No, oh, I'm so dead, man. Uh, great. Oh, that'll do. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh no, one of them has a crossy. Oh, I'm so dead. No, he hits that. Come on, man. I deserve this. No, oh. I'm so dead. Okay. Oh, okay. He doesn't miss. He's insane. Okay. These rats, man. So despite putting in the work and killing the two loaded players, the five deep rats that kept running back naked with bows got to steal all of the loot. This was a tough loss, but it was just the beginning of my wipe. So I picked myself back up and got back out there. Uh, it's such a shame that that group just got all of the loot from killing me once. Like, I killed both of the gear guys, man. Well, there we go. Might as well go crossy, I'm not gonna die again. Since my nearest monument, the lighthouse, was clearly gonna be a bit chaotic with that group holding it down, I decided to farm the ocean instead. I headed out to grab some scraps so I could buy a diving tank. Ooh, nice fuse. Oh, there are two players coming towards me. That isn't good. Oh, he's P2, what the fuck? I was not expecting that. I might have to fight this guy, he doesn't seem very good. I'd like to go diving, please. Right. Okay, diving tank and fins. Oh, shit, I got a Jackie. After finding the jackhammer, I wanted to bank it before going on my ocean farming journey. And as I was right outside my base... Oh, what are the chances? No, dude. Right outside my base. Come on. After tons of primitive fights, the chances of running into geared players outside my base were pretty slim. I figured they must live nearby, and I went to go find their base. That is really upsetting. They have to live near. Oh. Wait. Surely that's not their base. Oh, that would be bad. 
Oh, at least they left my fins. <laughs> yeah, this is them. Okay, so I live very close to these guys. That might cause me some trouble later on. Um, that's a little bit annoying. It appeared that the only geared players in the whole area live less than half a square from my base. Not the most ideal circumstances for a solo, but I liked my spot so much that I kept at it. I headed to Airfield to grab some scrap so I could rebuy the diving tank once again. Is it feels like I might be able to farm this airfield. It seems a little bit more quiet than the lighthouse and the shore, which I think would be good. Okay, I should definitely get this home. I am loaded. I've just got to try and make it back without running into those guys. Hopefully, they're not roaming around here. Come on. Okay, there we go. I had managed to make a successful barrel farming run by airfield and made it home safely with the components. This was incredibly encouraging and meant that I had a way of getting components consistently. It also meant that I could make my location work. I should try and recycle. I recycled the spare components for some extra scrap and headed back home to bank my loot. Yeah, let's hope I can make it back without dying, come on. Oh, I don't actually know if I can make this jump. Is this possible? Oh, I can make that. I can make that. I got the parkour in me. Come on. I have no wood, so I can't replace it. This is bad. Oh! Oh, I did it! Let's go! Get me up here, man. I definitely need a ladder for this cliff. Okay! Nice. We got the rug down. With half the scrap for a tier 2 farmed in just one airfield run, I tried to do the same again. If I could get the same amount of scrap, I'd have a tier 2 in under an hour of gameplay. Ooh, we can mine. I actually need that. I'm gonna recycle here, I reckon I'll be alright. It's night time in airfields. <laughs> There'll be no one there. Alright, I'm out, I'm out. And as the sun rose on a new morning, I headed home from the airfield run. Let's go! Two big runs, I needed that. Okay, 450 scrap, that is a good old start. We will take it. And after that run, I hadn't quite made enough scrap for the tier 2, but it was still great progress nonetheless. I crafted some more box for storage, and went to farm some wood to keep my furnaces running. I headed on my way to fishing village with some scrap to buy a diving tank and fins, so I could finally hit the ocean for some extra components. But on my way there, I got a bit distracted. Uh, I should buy the boat, but I can kill that guy easily and get some farm too. There we go. I think the guy farming trees is with him, so I need to get out of here quick. <laughs> Fucking run. Come on, go, go, go. The fishing village safe zone is so terrible. Oh no, that is bad timing. My timing today has been impeccably terrible. Like, why are they on the rock? Oh, come on. Go! Oh, I think I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. While trying to make it home with the kit, my neighbors with guns happen to be waiting for me at the top of my rock. Not the most ideal timing. After waiting for a few minutes, I'd hoped that they'd gone and headed back to deposit my kit. And with the extra loot successfully home, I could now return to Fishing Village and buy the boat. Here we go. I'm actually doing it this time. I'm looking to buy a boat. Thank you very much. I finally did not get distracted on my way to Fishing Village. <laughs> oh, feels good. Right. Let's hit the ocean. 
And finally, with my boat now acquired, I could peacefully loot the ocean without the chaos from all the players nearby. Oh my god, so much scrap. Okay, first diving site. Come on, give me a big barge. Yeah, there were two barges. What the hell? That's actually some really good luck. Two right next to each other. I should be able to get the challenge done here. I've missed this man. I I forgot just how nice of a way of farming scrap this is, especially on white day, man. Like the amount of chaos going on back in mainland, and I'm just here, I'm chilling, getting a ton of components at the same time. Ooh, that's a good one. I got the challenge, I can at least get my pump shotgun now. What the binos? No way! So much uh, wooden armor. And a metal pick, not bad. Bro, you honestly get so many components from this. Alright, loot this. Up. I got my Jackie back! Bro, good calm. With some good karma, I found the jackhammer that I'd lost earlier, and continued to farm the water a bit more, before making my way back to Fishing Village. Alright, I made it. This is a damn good run, actually. I recycled everything from the run, collected my pump shotgun reward from the fisherman, and made my way back home. Okay, if I die now, I may cry, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there might be tears shed if I die here. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Let's go. I made it. I had now made my first ocean farming run safely home. And with the boat just sitting in the fishing village, I wanted to take it out one more time before someone was inevitably gonna take it. Oh, I still see the boat. We're good. Thank gosh. Oh, I think those guys were literally just coming to fishing. No way. That was actually good timing. I would have lost my boat if I'd been any longer. Nice. Oh my god, they were going cargo. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Uh, I don't really want to be taking cargo right now. Yeah, if I had my pumpy, I would actually consider it, but with a crossy nail gun, first cargo would wipe. Nah, -uh, no way. With nothing but a crossbow and a nail gun, and after seeing the two geared players in Fishing Village, I figured there wasn't much point in me attempting cargo right now, but maybe another time. Uh, that shouldn't work, man. If I'd had the pump on me, I would have tried, because I might have been able to kill the guys boarding it, but... Oh well, fishing for me it is. And with cargo inevitably distracting all the other players in the ocean, I would have free reign to loot all of the crates I needed. Oh my god, that scared me so much, man, what the hell? That was a terrible large crate, oh my gosh. Flash it. Into the next diving site. Wait, is that another two barges on top? My luck today with diving is incredible. <laughs> All of my bad luck has just been put to this. That's another barge? What the fuck? That's three next to each other. Bro, I'm getting incredible luck. I looted every crate I could and filled up my entire inventory with components before heading back to the fishing village. Oh 
This is such a good way of farming on wipe day. I should do this more often. I, I really should. This is fun and it's relaxing. Okay. Once again, though, I've got to do the horrible part of running back to my base. I do not enjoy this at all. And with a mountain of scrap, cloth, metal, and high qual, I had to make it home alive. Here goes. Oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. There is an arctic suit right outside my base. Come on, man. Surely I'm okay? He probably went down, so I should be alright. No way. He's farming a node outside my door? Oh my... Today, man, it is not for me. Okay, if I just hide down here, there's no way he's gonna drop down this cliff. He's farming, he'll keep farming around the cliff. I'm gonna sit here, he'll go past me, and I can go back to base, and we'll be fine. That's all I have to do. Wait. No way. <laughs> I don't like this, man. I'm fucking going. Why? Why did he drop down on top of me? I don't understand this game. <laughs> oh no, there's another Arctic on top of my base, bro. My, I cannot, I cannot do this game. Go, 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 go. Back to fishing. With the worst luck imaginable, two geared players were sat on top of my base as I tried to bank. I F1 killed in the safety of Fishing Village and ran back to see if I could loot the player I'd killed. Oh, no way. He didn't come back. Uh, I mean, I'll take it. If I can get this home, that would at least be something. Come on. I think I'm in the clear. Let's go. Bro, what just happened? My timing has been so good, but bad today. <laughs> like, what? After making the ore safely home, I decided to learn the ladder in the tech tree. This way I could climb my cliff safely without having to expose myself to my neighbors. All right, uh, that was like 200 scraps along the ladder, but I think it's worth it for the future of this white. One there, one like that. Okay, I can climb that. So I just need what? Oh my God. Just need one here. And then I think this should be good. And now, with the ladders placed, allowing me to climb directly up to my base, I had to make the final run home. Here we go. Trying again. Let's see what happens. Oh. <laughs> I fucking... I really hate this game sometimes, man. This cannot be good for my heart, I swear to god. Oh well. I had made it. All of the loot from the big boat run successfully banked home, along with a full kit and an inventory of farm for a player I'd killed along the way. There was little doubt that they would be back for revenge. I quickly used the resources I'd stolen to upgrade my base. Yeah, I'm gonna assume the guy that I killed that was farming was probably one of the neighbors. I, they're kind of the only guys around here with guns, so... I don't know if they know I live here. Um, either way, upgrading my base right now is definitely the right decision. I have my classic will jump, jump up. I feel like I always do this in my bases, but it's so much better than having your entrance on your ground floor. 100%. Furnace. And double door down. There we go. Beautiful. And with my base now secure, I was able to use the scrap that I'd got home to craft myself the workbench level 2. And there we go. Got that level 2 crafting. Honestly, it, it's been a pretty solid start to wipe. Like, I'm what, less than 2 hours in? Boom, tier two. Next up, now I got that, I can start working on the furnace. So what do I need? I need 400 scrap for the electric furnace. That's not bad. My next aim was to farm the scrap to get the electric furnace, as I would need that to set up the overpowered super smelter that I had in mind. 
And for that, I was gonna need some more scrap. Is this all my life has become? Just farming scrap, man, honestly. Okay, at least with this I can get honeycomb down, and then if I upgrade the ceiling to metal, I'll be able to survive like 8 rockets. If they go through doors, it'll be like 5, but then if I get garage doors, it'll be like 15, so... Honestly, this is fine. Right, this will do for now, I can then expand later on, but... Feeling good. I definitely don't think anyone's raiding me just yet. I would be amazed, to be honest. Right, perfect. Honeycomb is done, and now at least my base can survive like a quick 2c4 raid. Not gonna get done by that. I do still need to add honeycomb there though, but... Hey, we'll get a revy. Why not? Let's do it. I crafted myself a fresh revolver for self-defense and headed off to airfield to farm some more scrap to get the electric furnace. I must say, I feel like now that so many things are being added to the game, there needs to be more default blueprints. Because, like, you really do, especially if you're not, like, a big group. You spend your whole time farming scrap, and it's kind of boring. Another successful scrap run, and another step closer to achieving my goal. Okay, generator, ran switch, HPHF sensor, because I've got to learn all that for some reason. Now I've got to learn a searchlight. Oh my god, it's painful, man. Painful. And with another box down for more storage, it was back to work. Okay, ooh, small battery. It's actually not bad. I don't know if I'll need it. Oh, this is a big run. Holy shit. Crates, more crates, bust, loot. Bro, I have to make this home. This is huge. This is, uh, this is butt clenched territory now. Oh, that's Azzy. Aimed at me. I think he's only got a bow, though. Oh my, okay, that guy is not bow. Oh, I appear to be mistaken. <laughs> he is not just bow. <laughs> Oh, thank god for that. Okay. You know what? I think I can now get the furnace. That's pretty cool. And with the second successful run done, the electric furnace was now learned. With my extra scrap, I learned the final necessary components to at least set up the electric furnaces. While I wasn't yet ready to set up the full smelting system, I could at least get the start down now. Alright, I have not actually built the electric furnace before, so what do I need? I need... I will need a splitter, so I'm gonna have to learn down that tree anyway. Later, I'm gonna need all of those. So, we've got medium battery, and then I've already got a solar panel. Beautiful, get that one down. I can get three furnaces in the back of there. Hook this bad boy up. Uh, problem is, I'm gonna need another 500 scrap to get the garage door. One day I'll be able to PvP, but for now I just gotta focus on the scrap grind, man. See, a lot of the industrial update was kind of cool, but the electric furnaces are genuinely so good. For solo players. Like, it is incredible. So we got one there. Uh, can I fit them together? I'm not sure if I can do that. That works. There we go. <laughs> that looks a little bit better. Okay, so then all you need is one splitter. It's such a simple circuit, and I love that about this. So, you actually don't even need this this branch, but I need it for later on. So set that to 10 power. Because the whole all you, all you need is 10 power for the whole thing. Send that to the 
splitter. And then from the splitter into each furnace. So I'm going to take this further later on to make this system like fully automatic. But even as just like a casual gamer, this is solid. And like setting this up will help you out so much. I mean, look at that. So now with just one solar panel, I can power these three things forever. And technically never need wood again for smelting. Like obviously you don't get charcoal, but it's so good. Okay, and like, yeah, so even without charcoal, as a solo, I only need a little bit. So as long as I keep one furnace going, then that's enough charcoal for my wife. But then I can get so much more stuff. With the electric furnaces up and running, I could now get my ore smelting at incredible rates. Not quite the smelter in its final form, but this was a start. Okay, just let those cook now, and I will be rewarded with a lot of resources. <laughs> I love it. Oh dear. Oh, poor guy. Yes, she had some good stuff for me. Thank you. Not bad. We got some stone from that run. I really did need that. I am running out of storage, though. Yeah, I'm gonna need to focus the garage door next, I think. Which means another 500 scrap, but there we go. It's important. Now, I was planning to put a lot of hours into this wipe, and doing that would mean I was gonna need a big base to keep myself from getting raided. I spent some time trying to decide how I wanted to expand. Yeah, that doesn't really work. <laughs> Never mind, not gonna use roofs. Oh, what do we reckon? Can I hit that? Ah, oh, that was close, that was close. One more, one more. <laughs> okay, you know what? I will just circle around that way for now. Keep it away from the TC compartment. And then door here. I'll have front door here, and then that way raiders won't be directly above the tool cup straight away. And then I could have jump up. I'll have the jump up behind here, because then it keeps the base sort of symmetrical. I think that's solid. And then... I'm going to have a honeycomb at the top anyway, so that shoot definitely works. Hmm. Okay, yeah, and I'll just have a wool like that. Wool that off for now. I will upgrade that to wood and chop that out later. And I think that's good. Oh, look at that. Already 500 frags in each one. Beautiful. Yeah, so I'll have that as a full wool. Have my entrance sort of snake this way around. So then, people can't shoot me from the top of the cliff. That'll do! Oh, all that sulfur cooked already. Oh, well, with all of this metal frags I'm gonna have, I might as well upgrade my base fully. So why not? Boom! With the majority of scrap already farmed towards my goal, I took some time now to do some PvP roaming and a bit of exploring. Oh, these guys are gamers. They got a mini copter on their roof. <laughs> My crossy's on point today. Oh, there's actually quite a lot of them. I was thinking about shooting the mini, but. <laughs> I just don't miss. Oh, that guy. Right, come on, is he loaded with farm? Maybe. Now at this point, apart from dying with my jackhammer at the start, I hadn't yet had a real encounter with my neighbors. But this was about to change. Some better skins on. We'll go, we'll go with the green camo, I think. Oh! Good night. There are more. There are two more. Oh, no. Oh, I bet these are my neighbors. There are... Is that three more? No, no, two more, two more. 
I am so dead. That guy's low. Oh, two bullets! No way. Bless us off. No! Oh, I destroyed the first two! That was one more and he was low. After killing two and leaving the last of the three members at just five health, I had lost the fight. I went back and sure enough, it was my neighbors. All three had returned and collected their kits and there was nothing else I could do. While this encounter was unfortunate, it gave me hope that if I was equally as kitted as them, I might just have a good chance of taking them on. Look at that. 900 frags, 2k sulfur already again. This thing is just pumping out resources for me. Okay, let's get another Revy crafted. I'm feeling the Revy today though. Oh my gosh, that second guy. Two bullets, two headshots. That was crazy. You're joking me. Oh, who's that bear running from? Someone's I forgot just how much health these guys have. He has an arrow in him. You know what? I think my base is missing some bear rugs right now. I realized that it needs some more. Beautiful. It's all coming together now. My wipe will turn around. I continue to do small farming runs around my area, collecting scrap, stone, metal, and everything I'd need to keep my base growing. It's taking heli, I think it's the guys on the water. I'll get that to armor for now, I might as well. Let's get another door down. Alright, I think that's six doors, so that's at least six rockets, and then, yeah. One more down here as well. Eventually these will all be garage doors. And with my base strong enough to survive most raids just a couple of hours into wipe, I took a short break to feel refreshed. And when I returned, I was ready to get back to work. Come here, Yogi. back on. I forgot that I actually disconnected that. Okay, they are now cooking again. Oh, someone ladded onto my roof. How dare they? After my neighbors had clearly investigated my base a bit and I'd made a bit of a name for myself, it was clear that I might be a potential raid target. And the only way I'd stand a chance at defending would be if I got the garage door, something that I was going to need a lot of scrap to learn in the tech tree. Ooh, these guys are chasing me. They fell for the baits. Oh, no, he hit me. That's not good, actually. Okay, I'm going to have to turn here. Huh? Oh, I thought I killed him. Bro, that was so weird. I don't know how he didn't die first. Well, I'll take it, I guess. I definitely just heard boots. Oh, someone is coming for my ass. Oh, I am feeling the revolver today. Give me that saw. I shot one that has it. I'm gone. Let's go. Easy saw blueprint. I will take that. After making a play, I'd managed to get my hands on a semi-automatic rifle. While this was great, I wanted to learn it straight away, meaning I was going to need to spend another 250 scrap learning the rifle and the ammo. With all of this scrap needed, I headed to the fishing village to recycle some spare components. I think I'm gonna need to do another ocean run. Okay, that's not bad. I got extra tech trash too. 
Home sweet home. With a total of 260 scrap, I could now learn the rifle and ammo. But, still a long way from my goal to get the garage door, I decided to return to the ocean for another big scrap run. Okay, that is everything I need. Got the tank, got the low grade. Oh, someone farming the chainsaw. I can get him outside of fishing village. Wait, what the fuck? He's chopping people up. What a madman. Oh no. No. Oh, he got the chainsaw. Look at them. Oh, sulfur. Oh my, okay. Wait, 170 low grade? Give me that. Yes, sir. I'm out of here. On my way to Fishing Village, I'd got a bit distracted and ended up with a full inventory of resources. I quickly headed home to bank them and then returned to collect my bow. Oh, I just love that these are just constantly going. I never need to fill them with wood or... Like, look at that. Another 2k frags. So good. Okay, here we go. Let's get some comps. I powered through the diving sites, collecting every crate and component I could possibly find. Another barge. This- wait, oh wait, no, I see two shark. Oh no, I'm not sure I like this. As long as he doesn't... Uh oh. Oh no! Ah! Ah! I don't like it! Ah! Get me out of here! What the fuck? That scared me so much, man. Oh! Fuck! It's still coming! What? What do you mean? <laughs> Where's my boat? Ah! Get me out of the water! Bro, that was terrifying! <laughs> I actually jumped! I'm just gonna recycle everything. I need so much scrap. I made it safely to fishing with my full inventory of scrap, metal, cloth, and high quality. However, gunshots and a big fight was going on right outside my base. I F1 killed to see what was going on. Ooh, I think that guy just killed someone down there. I might be able to grab something. Wait, that's a dead body. Oh, oh no. No! Oh, fuck! I thought it was an NPC's body, so I took so long to loot it, man. I then respawned at my base, triple checked that the coast was clear and that my run would be safe, and headed to fishing to make the move. Alright, I think I'm good. Ah! No! I'm actually getting stream sniped. There's no way. He sat at the top of my ladder with a pipe? Come on. Ah, <sighs> yep. My base was getting camped. The exact time I decided to make a run with a full inventory, a player, likely stream sniper, was waiting outside my base. By the time I'd got my kit together, the stream sniper was gone, along with all of my loot. Uh, that is unbelievable. I just feel like the fact that I checked outside too. Uh, if I wasn't on a bag timer as well, I would have been fine. My luck, man. The stream sniper and a couple of his friends continued to door camp me for a while, hanging around my base and just being a nuisance. Unfortunately, sometimes these things happen, but I wouldn't let it get to me and power on with my wipe as though nothing had happened. Come here, Rebecca. Wait, you got a satchel? No way, what the fuck? <laughs> that's, that's so annoying. <laughs> Bro, I would have would have liked that satchel, man. Oh, it blew up too. Come on. Okay. 
What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? Why is there a satchel on the floor? Wait, no, this is admins. I swear, this isn't me. Why is this shit? <laughs> what? Okay, man, that's some good karma immediately. Clearly, the rust gods were on my side, because with some good karma, I managed to find some nice items in a few crates I was looting. And then, as I was about to begin construction of the super smelter, my neighbors paid me a visit. Huh? What's this guy talking about? Take whatever we need? Pfft. No thanks. Bro, let me in your base and we'll just take what we need. Who does this guy think he is? Bitch, you can come fucking raid me if you want my shit. Honestly. The power complex of some people. Get ready for it. Bring it, man. What a bitch, honestly. Yeah. Fucking come raid me. You sound like Wellen. <laughs> Wellen? <laughs> Oh, Wait, my name's actually like Wellen. Like this guy's so British. Nah, you kind of sound like him. Me not be. Hey, it's oh, actually no, Wellen, man. You were right. Out, it's me. <laughs> it's gonna look so sus when my name's actually Wellen in game. <laughs> Wait, I can place that. Whoa, that's so cool. Oh, oh, look at that. That is why these furnaces are insane. Look at all of that metal. So far, it seemed that the neighbors were all talk and no bite, but I decided to upgrade my base a little anyway. And I figured with enough scrap, there was no better time than to set up the industrial system. Okay, so what am I gonna need? Right, I'm gonna need the adapter, the conveyor, the splitter, and I'm gonna need the combiner. I'm gonna need a branch. And then I already have a combiner, actually. Combiner there. Take that to the combiner out. I'm then gonna need another solar panel. That can go up to the ceiling. Right, provided I'm not getting door camped, which I feel like I might be. But... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What an animal. Solar panel. Take that to the miner in, and then this needs to go to another one. Beautiful. So we got solar, two solar panels running. That's enough power. Then I need the pipe tool. I'm going to need two conveyors. Wait, or one conveyor. No, two conveyors, I think. That's right. And then a combiner, a splitter, and one adapter? Wait, no, four adapters. Oh my god, that's a lot of frags. That's like 700 metal frags, what the hell? Okay, so a big large box, which is where I will put all of my ore. Put an adapter on top, and then an adapter. Oh wait, am I even gonna be able to place these? Oh, I might have to move these furnaces a bit. Bro, I hate this system, man. Does that... Okay, nice. That place is cool. Okay, so I need the splitter. And then I'm going to need another branch. That is 10 power, because that's all of the power that the splitter and the furnaces need. So boom, in there. Okay, there we go. So, so now power out needs to go into here. Then we'll branch off 10. Perfect. Get all of those on again. There we go. Okay, and then I want a conveyor there and a conveyor there. I want the combiner and then the splitter. And then 
I need to put the piping tool from the industrial out to the combiners. Okay, so each of these furnaces goes into the combiner. That takes the loot from the furnace into the combiner, into one output. And then that output... Oh, hang on. And that output needs to go into the in section of the one of the conveyors, like that. Perfect. And then that will go through the conveyor and then all the way to the box. Okay, so that means that frags coming out of the furnaces will go into the box, which is good. And then, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. And then the out of the box is going to be ore, so that's going to go into the input of the second conveyor. The output of that goes into the splitter. And then the splitter splits the ore into three into each of the furnaces. If I can actually reach that. Oh, come on, please. No, I don't know if I can reach it. Fuck. Oh, okay, I can, I can. Wait, where is it? I saw it. It popped up. Bro, this is such a stupid system, man. Come on. I saw it. Yes, there we go. Got it, got it. Let's go! I got it. Okay, now I just need to power the conveyors. And I think they only need two power and there's a pass through. Beautiful. Yep, there we go. Turn them both on. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Okay, filters. So this one needs to be metal ore. So we need to filter ore out of the box. So sulfur ore and HQM ore. Nice. So now, when I put ore in, it goes out. Let's go. Let's go. So any ore I put in that box will now just go straight into the furnaces without me doing anything. This is sick. And then that needs to add filters for frags. And then now the box should have frags coming out. Let's go. Oh my god. So now I can log out. I could fill the box with ore, log out, and wake up with a box of frags. With my industrial system now set up, all I had to do was farm ore and chuck it in the large box, and it would automatically smelt at incredibly fast rates. Alright, that's enough ore for now. Bro, I'm so excited. I just throw all that in there. Look how much is already in the box. Oh my gosh. Bro, this is gonna be such a good wipe. I can feel it. And so, there you go. Five hours of gameplay. The super smelter was set up. I had guns and blueprints to my name. And my neighbors were looking to raid me. Things were looking pretty good for the rest of my adventure. To find out just how strong this smelting system is, and to see if my base survives, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss chapter two. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.